Hi, welcome to my channel, I'm an Italian guy who reviews and carries out electroacoustic measurements of audio and hi-fi products. If you are interested in this type of video, I recommend you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next videos. I will make many more videos in English in the future. If you speak Italian, you can find the complete review of this product on my channel. Today I'm going to test this IEMA A70 which is a stereo class D amplifier. Uses Texas Instruments popular TPA3255 amplifier chip. It features only analog inputs, one unbalanced with RCA connectors and one balanced with XLR and jack combo connectors. The two inputs can be selected by pressing the volume knob. A 48 volt, 5 amp power supply is supplied. I carried out a frequency response measurement by applying three different loads. It ohm the blue curve. For ohm the green curve. Two ohms the red curve. As we can see, the frequency response is very linear and we have only a minimal variation in response as a function of load variation at very high frequencies, around 20 kHz. Usually in other amplifiers that use this TPA3255 chip, and in general for all cheap Class D amplifiers, these variations are much more evident. In this amplifier they are thus reduced thanks to the use of post-filter feedback technology. I then measured the frequency response of the right and left channels to see any differences. As can be seen from the graph the two channels are almost identical. That's good. Now it's time to analyze the harmonic distortion of this amplifier. I fed the amplifier a sine wave at about 1 kHz and adjusted the volume so that the amplifier puts out 5 watts into a 4 ohm load. Using the RCA input we get this graph. We have a noise floor at 110 decibels compared to the fundamental, a second harmonic at 92.5 decibels compared to the fundamental wave and a fifth harmonic at 107 decibels from the fundamental wave. All other harmonics produced are very weak because they disappear beneath the noise floor. We therefore obtain a THD distortion of 0.00371%. Carrying out the same procedure with the balanced input we obtain the following graph. We only have a third harmonic at 106.5 decibels difference from the fundamental wave. We get a THD distortion of 0.00159%. Truly an excellent result. I also analyzed the intermodulation distortion, applying many sinusoids to the amplifier, and detecting the total distortion that is generated. We get a distortion plus noise average of 90 decibels from the fundamental signs and a worse distortion at 80.3 decibels from the fundamental signs. An excellent result. The graph is the same using unbalanced input or balanced input. Inserting this amplifier into the distortion ranking of the amplifiers I have tested so far, it ranks first with the balanced input and fourth place with the analog input. Truly excellent. I then went on to measure the distortion as a function of the power delivered by the amplifier to identify the maximum power it can deliver with 1% maximum distortion. Above the graph you can see the various power values delivered on various loads. Inserting this IEMA A70 in the power ranking of the amplifiers I tested, it ranks second behind the Fosai Audio V3. Overall I think the performance of this amplifier is excellent. If you like the video I ask you to leave a like. If you want me to make a video on some particular amplifier, write it to me in the comments. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. Thanks and see you next time.